The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Welcome back for today's farm and ranch news. July was another great month for U.S. beef exports. According to the U.S. Meat Export Federation, it was all made possible by growth in several key markets. Japan was up 8%, China reported a 30% jump, and strong showings in other markets such as the Philippines as well as the Caribbean and Central America are all encouraging. The U.S. dollar continues to strengthen against some of our key currencies, uh, specifically Japan and Korea, and that's something to keep an eye on. And while the international logistical situation appears to be improving, it's definitely not back to normal. We, we have some additional work to do there, but, but at least it does look like it's improving a bit. So I think we've got to be aware of these headwinds, but the outlook still looks pretty positive going forward on beef. July beef exports totaled over 126,000 metric tons, a 3% year-over-year increase. Well, in other news, scientists have confirmed a backyard flock of poultry in northwestern Tennessee was infected with highly pathogenic avian influenza, part of a resurgence of the disease in parts of the central states. That is now the 40th state to confirm the bird flu this year. Some 3.3 million birds in domestic flocks have died of bird flu so far this month. Nationwide losses during September will be the largest since April, experts say. While cases have subsided in Montana and Wyoming this summer, cases are expected to rise as migratory birds begin their seasonal travel to southern states. Just a reminder, avian influenza is a highly contagious viral disease of poultry and many wild birds. It can be carried in wild waterfowl that display no clinical signs of illness. Contact with infected birds or contaminated objects and aerosol can spread the virus, which is found in feces, saliva, and respiratory secretions. Those with backyard flocks are encouraged to take extra precaution as the bird migration begins to increase. We'll be right back. 